I always say that you really only need three things to be successful in this hobby. Good water quality, good water flow, and good light. All of these things are pretty involved, but lighting in particular gets a lot of discussion because of the three, it's the most expensive and the thing that's going to most dramatically affect how fish and coral look in your tank. My goal in making this video isn't so much to give a primer to beginners, it's more to illustrate just what a difference lighting can make. Now corals can color up differently under different lighting systems to varying degrees, but lighting systems can also drastically affect the appearance of the same exact coral. A lot is made of what corals look like online. Are the images oversaturated? What kind of lighting was this taken under? What will it look like in my tank? The list of questions goes on and on. What most people don't really realize is that much of what that coral will look like has more to do with the lighting selection by the hobbyist than the image of the coral online. Obviously there's pictures online that look way off. But assuming for a moment that the picture is good, there's a really good chance that any coral is going to look very different from tank to tank depending on that light. I tried to show the corals on my site and during live shows under different types of lighting, but these things are just helpful guidelines at best. In the background, you're going to see some corals illuminated under different types of T5 bulbs. Moving from T5 to a different technology altogether, such as LED or metal halide, will have an even more pronounced difference. In the clip I just showed, I transitioned from a full actinic look to an almost full daylight look by changing lights. Go back and take a look if you didn't notice the first time around. Here, you can see three slices of the same coral under those different lights. One might think that the solution to this is to only shop in person for corals. I try to do that as much as possible, however, nothing is 100%. I have purchased corals in person that looked spectacular. One in particular looked really special. It was glowing red and yellow. The yellow drew my eyes right to it, and I decided to purchase it. An hour later, when it was in my tank, it was nothing. The red really was much more of a tan color, and the yellow was maybe a slightly different colored tan. Had I purchased this coral online, sight unseen, I might have been disappointed with what I received, but that wasn't really the case here. I bought this piece in person. It's just that the lighting makes that much of a difference sometimes. Okay, so what's my point with all this? My point is, while there's no sure way to pick out corals, you do have a great deal of control over what it will look like regardless. Just look at this Acropora here. It almost looks like three different corals all together, but it's really just lighting at work. I hope you guys liked the video. In the comments below, let me know if you want a deeper dive into the topic of lighting. Thanks again.